What is the absorption of nutrients and how does it work in the body? Well, a key part of the digestive system is to absorb nutrients such as carbohydrates, proteins, and fats from the digestive tract into the bloodstream. The organ that's primarily in charge of absorbing nutrients into the bloodstream is the small intestine. Let's explore the structure of the small intestine and then talk a little bit about how it functions. So the structure of the small intestine um, is that it attaches at the end of the stomach and then reattaches at the end to the large intestine. The small intestine is a long windy set of, of a hollow tube and it stretches out from end to end almost um, probably two times your height if not more. The small intestine is made up of three parts, the duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. Um, inside the small intestine is a very interesting structure, set of structures I should say, called villi. Villi line the entire length of the small intestine, providing for an increased surface area. This increased surface area is key to allowing the passage of as many nutrients as possible out of the small intestine and into the blood. Like we said before, nutrients like proteins, carbohydrates, and fats can enter the bloodstream this way and get to cells where they are needed the most. So remember, the function of the small intestine is not only to break down food into smaller pieces, but it is also to get those key nutrients into the bloodstream and then ultimately to the cells where they are needed the most.